Whoa. What's up, YouTube? Today, we're talking about this guy and how it will make you a much, much faster video editor. What's up, YouTube? My name is John Jackson, and today, like I said, we are talking about gaming mice. I've been using gaming mice for a very long time as a gamer since like 2011 uh, in World of Warcraft. My heart is racing! <gasps> yes! <laughs> in Battlefield. Lots of other games, and I thought this is a great tool that helps me be a faster gamer. Maybe I can use this in Adobe Premiere. So I want to show you my method for setting up my gaming mouse for video editing, and then my keyboard shortcuts. Now I'm not going to walk you through every single keyboard shortcut I have on my mouse, but I am going to walk you through how to set up the profile on the Razer software, how to set up keybinds in Adobe Premiere, and if you check out the description of this video, you will find a text file with my Adobe Premiere shortcuts and how to install those. So if you're like, you know what, I don't want to figure it out, I just want to do what Jags does, you'll have that in your in the description, basically. So check that out if you're interested. So without further ado, let's throw a clock somewhere and try and keep this under two minutes and uh, show you how to do the thing. Let's go. Ooh, no, let's go the other way. So the first thing you have to do to set up your gaming mouse for creative software is go into your respective gaming peripheral software and set up the keys associated with the corresponding keys in Adobe Premiere. Now, we're gonna go to the 17 button layout on my Razer Naga. The tutorial settings is just all the default settings for the sake of this video. We can mouse over any of the keys we want to change. Let's just click on the number one key and we'll see the default is the number one and that is the one above your QWERTY, all the letters on your keyboard. But what I like to do is go to keyboard function. We can see that there's a drop down menu here and we can do either a key recording, a function key, a navigation key, whatever you wanna do, I just keep it on the number pad because there's a lot of open real estate in Adobe Premiere, which we will get to in just a second. So number pad, corresponding number one, but we can set it to any of the number pads we want. Click okay, check, include modifiers, click save. Now let's go down the line. We're not gonna show you that because uh, this would be way too long, so we're gonna go to the number two, and I wanna show you one more quick thing, and that is how to set up a macro. And a macro is effectively a sequence of keys in a short amount of time. So we can click on macro, and you can see that you have a bunch of different macros here. So these macros are just a sequence of keys, so I can just hit one button instead of five. So to make a macro, we can go to configure macros, and we can just, let's say, add a macro, and we can just be like, Save, and then we can hit record, wait for the countdown. We can just type in that button, and then we can stop recording, and then we can go back, and then go to our 17 button layout, number two, macro, peanut butter, click save. Open up a Word document, because why not? Blank document, hit the number two button on our mouse. And look, it just typed peanut butter. How cool is that? Totally unnecessary. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch to my main profile, which is the Jags profile, which is all the number pad keys minus one macro. I have control shift K, which is an After Effects thing. We'll talk about that in another video. Now let's dive into Premiere and show you how to assign keyboard shortcuts to your mouse. So to set up keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Premiere, we first have to go to edit, keyboard shortcuts, and we'll see there's a profile here called Jags where all the number pad keys are where I want them to be. 
Now, that is in the description of this video. Like I said, if you're interested in checking that out, but we're gonna go to the default. We'll see that there's nothing bound to the number pad. So what we can do is we can now take any of our actions in this command window, we can scroll down and find so many different actions and then just click and drag them. Now my favorite keybind of all in Adobe Premiere is the add edit key. It's basically just adding a cut wherever your playhead is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna search in the little search bar. How convenient, add edit, and there it is. It is automatically defaulted to control K and that is just dumb. It's very far away, it's kind of like one hand, one's hand is not big enough to hit control K, so you have to bring your hand away from the mouse, and that's just wasting a lot of time. So what we're gonna do is we're going to click and drag. We'll see, it just adds that there. And then we can just do that all the way down the line for wherever we want our keys. So another one I like to use is the unlink tool. It's basically taking a clip with audio and video on it, and let's say I don't need that audio, I can just hit one button and it will split those two items on my timeline. Now, normally the key bind is, I believe, Control L, but once again, it is saving me a keyboard stroke instead of having to have different modifier keys and take my hand away from the mouse. So we'll look up on link. And I set that to my three key on my mouse. So it's one and three is where my thumbs are going most of the time. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single keybind because that will be a super long video, but like I said, there's all my keyboard shortcuts in the description of this video. I keep plugging that because it is so useful. And um, I wanna show you how how basically you can use this from a um, ergonomic standpoint. So my thumb is always resting on the one key because I'm always adding edits. So if I just scrub through my timeline, let's put it at three seconds. Three seconds right there. If we hit the one key, boop. Now we can see there's a little cut right there. If we just go to four seconds, there we go. We can just keep doing that for days. Let's go to this clip. Uh, we can see by the highlighting that it is linked. So if we hit the number three key on the mouse, it will unlink. So rather than having to hit Control L or Control K, then we can just do it with one keyboard stroke. Now let's go back to our keyboard preferences really quick, and let's go back to Jags. And the last thing I wanna show you is one of the best ways I like to use this. It is basically using my arrow keys on keys two, four, five, and six. And basically, rather than having to use the arrow keys on my keyboard, I can just keep my thumb there. So let's say I have my playhead right here at six seconds, and I wanna go forward on my timeline, I can just hit the two key, and it'll go forward. Now if I hold shift, it'll go forward by five frames. If I hold shift and alt, it will move the clip I have selected forward by five frames. Boop, boop, boop. So you get the idea, let's just undo that really quick. And there's a lot of different ways you can associate your, or set up your mouse so that you can have keyboard shortcuts to effectively be a faster editor. And once again, all of my keyboard shortcut profiles and how to install them are in the description of this video if you wanna use that. But that is basically it. That's how you set up keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Premiere. It's super easy and it's a really useful way in which you can save time and create more content and then effectively walk your dog more or go to the gym more, do whatever you want because then you have more time to do things and enjoy your life. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever else, I always love helping out. So hit me up. And until next time, my name is John Jackson. I appreciate you checking out my video, checking out my channel. We got two new subscribers and those people are Ock. Okay. Hey, thank you very much for subscribing. I really hope you have an awesome day. I don't have a profile photo, but um, yeah, I'm sure you're cool, man. And then Scott Diner. And uh, yeah, hey, you're wearing the backward hat too. Backward hat club. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I don't know where my lens cap is, so we're gonna use a coaster.